some Samsung phone users can sometimes experience signal troubles for a variety of reasons. In this video, we'll show you the solutions that you can try if your Samsung phone or tablet is having a problem connecting to the network, unable to make or receive calls, cannot send or receive text, and other forms of network problems. First, you should determine whether the problem was caused by your network. Unexpected network problems can occasionally cause signal problems. This is typically easy to notice because there are simple markers to look for. Signal problems can manifest themselves in a variety of ways. Some may have sporadic loss, while others may experience bothersome weak reception which finally leads to poor to no service at all. When experiencing a sluggish or poor quality cellular connection, some customers may notice signal difficulties before you attempt to solve your problem. You must first understand what is causing it so that you may avoid excessive troubleshooting and continue directly to the best answer. What specific service are you experiencing problems with right now? Is your Samsung experiencing trouble sending a text message? Do you have problems making or receiving phone calls? Or both? Is mobile data sluggish or completely unavailable? If any or all of these services are not functioning properly, you should keep them in mind when troubleshooting. Checking at least two devices is one of the best ways to determine if a network outage is ongoing. If you have another phone or tablet connected to the same cellular network, attempt to monitor the signal bars on each of them. If you experience the same identical problem on at least two devices, you can presume that the problem is network related. Disconnecting the SIM card is another simple technique to resolve a signal issue. Just make sure to switch the phone off before removing and inserting the card. While you're about it, clean the card's copper contacts. Simply wipe them with a clean, soft cloth. Rebooting your phone might help it in a variety of ways. If you haven't tried it yet, make it your number one priority at this point. Network issues normally resolve themselves on their own. However, some may be shook off faster with the restart. Sometimes all that is required to resolve a network issue is to just reset the existing network settings. If you haven't done this yet, take the following steps. On the home screen, tap apps icon, open settings app, tap general management, tap reset, tap reset network settings, tap reset settings to confirm. Some network issues are caused by inadequate coding on the carrier's end. This indicates that the device is having a difficulty because a programming issue has not been resolved, leading Android and the hardware to perform poorly. When a problem is discovered, carriers will work on a solution, which is normally delivered via software upgrades. Install any updates that are available to install a potential repair. If you are not in your home country and your Galaxy Note 10's mobile data is not working, roaming may be default. Before leaving your home country, you should generally enable the roaming function in your account so that you may continue to use network services regularly while overseas. The exact methods for activating roaming vary per carrier, so contact your network provider for the most up-to-date information. Changing from network mode might occasionally assist. Try these methods to see if they work for you. Open settings app. Tap connections. Tap mobile networks. Tap network mode and select 3G or 2G. Restart device. Tap 4G or LTE or auto connect to return to the original configuration. At times, manually removing a device from a network's coverage might temporarily resolve network issues. If you haven't done this yet, these are the steps you need to take. Open Settings app. Tap Connections. Tap Mobile Networks. Tap Network Operators. Tap Select Manually. 
wait for your device to search for networks. Once it's done searching, select another network to connect to. For example, if you're on T-Mobile, pick an NT or any other network. Your phone will be forced to return with an error because it won't be able to register successfully. Afterwards, select your own network again and see if your device will now be able to re-register. Most network issues may be resolved at the user level. If you've done everything earlier and your Samsung still has a terrible signal problem, consider deleting its OS with a factory reset. A factory reset is frequently beneficial in correcting issues caused by software faults. Create a backup of your personal data and remove your Google account. Open Settings app. Scroll to and tap General Management. Tap Reset. Select Factory Data Reset from the given options. Read the information then tap Reset to continue. Tap Delete All to confirm action. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like, subscribe to our channel, or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making sure that Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.